everyone. Today we're going to be reviewing the highly anticipated Eagle View Wireless Ultrasound Probe. This probe is, of course, wireless, connects to your phone or your tablet. You can find more information on this probe on their website, which I will share with you at the end of the video. Also, my name is Narupa. I have other reviews and videos on my YouTube that you can check out. Also, I have an Instagram called Ultrasound Techniques and my website, ultrasoundtechniques.com, for resources if you are a student or somebody aspiring to be a sonographer. Okay, so let's get to the exciting part, unboxing. We're gonna take it out of the sleeve and open it up and see what's inside. As soon as we open it, we see the user manual, which gives us a detailed look at the applications, the buttons, how to effectively clean the probe, and how to use it in a safe and effective manner. The probe is two probes, five imaging modes, and 15 presets. There's B mode, M mode, color Doppler, power Doppler, and pulsed wave Doppler. It is 18 frames per second. It goes to a depth of 305 millimeters, and there's no wires. It is wireless. Here is the probe. The middle button is the power button, and it also switches if you hold it for five seconds from the convex end to the linear end. The light will light up, indicating which side is activated. On the bottom, well, this is our linear end. On the linear side, we can scan vascular, MSK, pediatric breast, thyroid, carotid, and small parts. If we wanted to switch over to the convex end, we would hold it for five seconds, it would light up, and now we are able to scan abdomen, cardiac, OBGYN, urology, kidney, and lung. The probe has a three to five hour continuous scan time and is a 128 probe elements HD. This is the, uh, the screen, LCD screen, which shows us the battery life. And that screen also shows us when it's ready to connect to Wi-Fi. It is about 0.6 pounds. It is a nice feel. It is not too heavy and it's a beautiful two-tone design. We're gonna go further in, see what else is in here. So the padding keeps the probe nice and safe so it arrives to you without any damage. This is our charging pad. It is a wireless charging pad. The probe simply sits on top of it. just like that and then it will light up letting you know that it is charging it connects right there and then into the wall very nice very light super easy to use and connect if we dig further in we see a cell phone or a tablet stand sometimes if I'm not using the probe I stand it on there just to keep it clean keep it safe the back opens up so it can be a little bit higher so that you can actually use a tablet and that's everything that it comes with. Okay, let's see how it works for the thyroid. My personal fave, as you all know. So we're gonna start off um, with the setting on the linear side of the probe. We know that it's on the linear side of the probe because the light is on towards the bottom. Like I said before, there's a top and the bottom and that indicates which side of the probe is activated. So we're activated, we're ready to go. I'm gonna hold it with my thumb here. If you'd like to freeze it using the probe, if you would like to freeze it on the screen, you can do that also. So I'm going to be holding it as if I'm going to be freezing with the probe, just to show you how quickly it freezes. So I automatically have the isthmus, I'm gonna hit freeze it freezes instantly, which is really nice because there's no lag, especially if you, if there's, for example, if her carotid is beating very fast, if the patient is breathing heavily, if the patient is tending to move or talk a lot, and you need to freeze an image really, really quick, it, it'll do the job. So now that we have it frozen, I'm going to, I froze with the probe, and I can unfreeze with the screen. So it doesn't matter if I'm freezing with the probe or, uh, freezing with the screen, I can freeze and unfreeze with either one. So here I'm going to freeze on the screen and I tapped the probe and it unfroze. I think that's really cool. So we're going to see how well it picks up um, abnormalities. 
So this patient has a known thyroid nodule. So it picks it up really, really nicely right there. I can see the borders. If I wanted to measure, I can measure. I'm actually just gonna zoom out a little bit so that it's a little clearer. Here we go. It's really nice and clear. I'm going to take a nice photo. I actually just froze it using the screen. Now that we freeze it, what can we do with this image? First, usually when you find a nodule or any abnormality when you're doing ultrasound, you need to measure. What are we measuring? The length. The options that it gives us um, is not only length. However, it's length, angle, area, slash, circumference, trace, and depth. So you see we have one, two, three, four, five options when it comes to measuring which is great. Um, it gives us the versatility of measuring uh, the circumference of, let's say, um, a mass or the uh, depth from the skin. And in this case, we're going to be measuring the width. So we're going to click length. Um, it's really nice because we can simply tap to apply the cursors. Um, they light up in green. So whichever cursor is um, uh, pointer is lit up in green is the one that's going to move. So right now the medial aspect is in green. It'll move more laterally. We can tap there. Something that is really nice, which I'll show you, I'm going to clear it and we're going to remeasure. Um, once I tap, hold on, let's clear that. Once I tap, um, it automatically measures. So see how I just tap one end to the other. I don't have to move the cursor around after that. It automatically gives me the measurement on the side and it is in mil millimeters. Um, it's 15 millimeters or 1.5 centimeters. I'm going to clear that and normally we would of course measure the nodule which is a lot smaller than the thyroid so we can see how that does. And it's actually very precise. It measured end to end once again. If I wanted to go ahead and kind of fine tune, I can do that using my pointer finger and kind of moving the cursor around. If I needed to add another cursor, in this uh, case, we're just measuring the width. If I needed to measure the depth, I would just hit measure once again. I would tap length. And then once again, carefully tap in our cursors. One thing that I really um, like about that is that when I'm tapping, it's tapping exactly where I'm putting my finger down. It's not tapping, it's not inserting the cursor to the left, to the right. It's pretty accurate. And I think that's great because that is one of the things that frustrates me sometimes when I'm measuring and I don't want to spend a lot of time fine tuning my measurements. We can clear the measurements. Um, let's say for instance now you weren't sure if this is a vessel or a nodule. What can we do? We can, of course, um, apply the color. So we're gonna unfreeze. I'm actually gonna unfreeze right here. Bam, that's really cool. So we're gonna go back in. We're going to locate the nodule and we're going to press B, B mode. We're gonna hit color. We can move our color box and now I'm gonna freeze it. So now you see the carotid is lit up. Our vessels are all lit up. The uh, nodule in this case is um, not a vascular nodule. There is a little bit of peripheral vascularity and it clearly picks that up, which is great detail. Going to unfreeze and we'll see what else we can find out about this nodule, what other kind of information we can get. So I'm gonna just kind of scan up and down and find it. So I can see that there are some echoes in there. Um, there is also a very, very tiny calcification and it picks that up nicely. Uh, we're going to scan to see if there's anything else we can find. There is a small cyst up there. We're going to move on. Uh, let's see what's in the left lobe. Um, with a normal thyroid protocol, as you know, we would scan isthmus right lobe, left lobe, and we're always looking for any abnormalities or calcifications. And look at that, that is a beautiful calcification. So that is a curvilinear, uh, I'm sorry, a curved um, calcification, curved rod calcification. So what we have here is a calcification. 
Um, it shows up very nicely. I like the differentiation and the contrast. The calcification is very hyperechoic as it should be. And it is giving us a wonderful um, shadow posterior artifact. Um, and around it, I can clearly differentiate between the calcification, the artifactual shadowing, and the, uh, the thyroid tissue itself. Very nice. We can also, once again, hit measure. And normally what I would do is measure the calcification. It's a little bit of a curved rod calcification, or maybe it's here. So we can easily just measure that to our liking. I'm going to unfreeze and see what else we can find. One of the great features about this probe is that you can use pulse wave Doppler. So for instance, we are now in the which comes up nice and clear. And as you can see on the screen, the wavelength options, you can adjust your baseline. You can adjust your PRF, your angle, the volume, the gains, the steer, and we can also freeze it. You can freeze and you can measure the wavelengths. You can measure the velocity, the heart rate, the depth, and there are some other options there. It picks it up very clearly. You instantly see the kidney. You instantly see the liver. And let's see if we can find the gallbladder. There's the gallbladder, nice and clear. There's the gallbladder in long. We're going to freeze it. Take a look around. You can let go of your breath whenever you need to. And then re breath. It's getting around the ribs really nicely. It's giving me a nice clear image. The contrast is nice. You can see the fundus of the gallbladder really well. You can see the body. We're going to freeze it and just measure shortly. Okay, we're going to see what the gallbladder looks like. Here it is. It comes up nice and quick, nice and easy. We can actually see all aspects of the gallbladder. We can see the fundus, the body, the tail. This is really nice. If there were any stones in there, we would definitely be able to tell or any abnormalities. I can see the head, the body, and the tail of the gallbladder pretty well. If I were to get under the ribs a little bit more, it should clear up. Take a deep breath, hold it. So today we reviewed the Eagle View wireless ultrasound probe using an iPad. I feel like everything came out very clear that I scanned. I scanned the thyroid using the linear end. I scanned also the brachial arteries. It was very clear. In the thyroid, for example, I located a nodule and I was able to uh, distinguish uh, specific characteristics of that nodule that's very important when presenting images to a radiologist, such as calcifications and um, uh, solid areas within the nodule versus cystic areas within a nodule. I was also able to differentiate the nodule between, let's say, a vessel and normal thyroid tissue, which is very important. We were also able to measure very easily. With the brachial artery, um, also using, of course, the linear end of the probe, we were able to uh, utilize the power and the pulse wave uh, and the color Doppler to show uh, very steady and clear blood flow. There was also very little to no noise 
or um, bleeding of the color out of the vessel. Um, we were able to utilize numerous settings such as our gains, steering, um, and other features that help fine tune the color and the velocity. Also, we were able to measure the velocity. Uh, the machine has linear, convex, and phased array. It is capable of B mode, M mode, color Doppler, power Doppler, and pulsed wave Doppler. The images are saved either onto your device or if you tap um, on the top left of the screen, it will uh, forward you to a screen where you can label and name and put any notes on the study and save it onto the probe and be able to access it from the iPad also. It is of course wireless. There is no cloud feature or cloud membership that you would have to pay for. Once again, everything is saved onto the probe. It is very easy to use. It's artificially intelligent powered and it is um, compatible with your iOS device or Android device. Um, we also scanned uh, the gallbladder today and we use the curvilinear end for that. As you can see, the probe is a very nice, sleek design. As always, thank you guys for all your love, all your support, and happy scanning.